Welcome to another video. CSM Cube is a free-to-use AI tool that can create 3D models starting with image inputs. As we can see on their website main page, this tool has been designed to make 3D content creation easier than ever. I consider that this is a disruptive technology that will change 3D production workflows within the near future. I have started to use this tool back in August, and within recent months the application has greatly improved. The scene from their main page is created within Unreal Engine. This makes use of Nanite allowing models to be imported and displayed at a high fidelity without the need for polygon reduction using LOD. Let's take a look at some of the community showcase models. This is a character model. If we go up to export, we can analyze the user image as well as the input image cropped by the platform. I will export the file as a GLB file format. Now within Blender, I will create a rapid scene using CSM AI generated models. I will delete the default cube and move the character up on the Z axis. Looking sharp, now let's add some props to our character. Santa hat would fit with the seasonal timing of Christmas and the holiday season. As we can see the generative AI has filled the Santa hat, but that shouldn't be a problem. So let's check the user image, input image, and export the hat as a GLB file. Within Blender, let's import the hat 3D model. As we can see, the file size for this model is 7.9 megabytes. This is twice the size of the character model. Let's place the Santa hat on the character's head to make him look more festive and cheerful during the upcoming holiday season. I will slightly scale the hat and rotate it. The hat still needs a little more alignment and maybe moved a little bit up. That should do it. Now let's add a pet companion to our character. Let's rotate the model to better visualize it. I will check the user image as well as the input image for this and have the GLB file download started. Let's add the pet companion to the scene. As we can see, the file size is 5.4 megabytes and the height of the pet is very similar to the initial character. This means that CSM Cube generates models with a specific height consistency. I don't know about you, but I am definitely impressed with the quality of the 3D models that I am seeing. As someone who has used previous iterations of CSM AI, I can definitely see that the output quality has improved significantly. I am really excited to see how the software continues to develop in the future. I highly encourage you to start tinkering with this tool as it is free to use. If you're intrigued by the power of generative 3D AI, delve into my playlist dedicated to exploring these innovative tools. I've embedded a link to the playlist on the left side of the screen. And to stay up to date with the latest developments in this exciting field, consider subscribing to my channel.